But one of the things that is very interesting is that for the past maybe like about 30 years, the rate of um, obesity, inactivity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, fast food, lots of sugar Go in the on. diet, mm -hmm. different things like that. And directly related with this, we have been seeing an increase in obesity and as diabetes. a result of this, diabetes. Right. You know, I find it very difficult. I have three children. How many do you have? Two. Two, that's right. <laughs> and it's so difficult to um, come to them on healthy eating, especially when they're at home college or yeah. outside of the, the home. home so i think this is one of the reasons you know statistics ha have shown that in 1970 for example people consumed about 2000 calories a day mm -hmm. but now we're consuming close to 3000 calories a yeah. day and 500 calories a day extra will cause the weight gain yes so that's one of the reasons it's what we're eating and how much we're eating yeah. that's causing this terrible disease. And even while we are, while I am speaking sometimes with the patient and trying to encourage mm -hmm. um, uh, change in terms of their lifestyle, the thing is this that I have noticed. Kids tend to spend less time on the outside. Absolutely. One of their complaints is related to the heat. Mm -hmm. But we have always had heat. What is the problem? It is not so much the heat outside, no. but the comfort that you have inside that's air right. condition playstation tv all phones and all of the all of the screens right. that make them be more sedentary while they are doing this the refrigerator is not too far away so that is a combination that is terrible that's right you know <laughs> studies have shown that the children are spending more than 11 hours a day in front of a screen yes it could be their iphone their iPad, mm -hmm. the television, the computer. Yeah. And as you say, they're not moving. And as we know, that exercise also will, can prevent the onset of diabetes. Yeah.